Hi everyone, my name is Maxfield Nieves Malik. I'm a returnee from AFS Japan 2010-2011 and one of AFS's young ambassadors. I also work as a design engineer for a company called High Purity New England and have learned that some of the assemblies we created recently were used in developing the COVID-19 15-minute tests that are being rolled out across the United States right now. Even though I'm glad to do my part to fight this pandemic, I wish there wasn't such a need for this kind of work right now. I want to thank everyone who is on the front lines, either treating the ill or working with the public through this difficult time. I also want to extend my condolences to all of you who have had your time abroad cut short. I can't imagine how frustrating it is to leave your host families, friends, and communities early. When I went abroad and in interacting with AFSers since then, I've learned that all AFSers have a commonality. We want to achieve something. We go abroad with a sense of purpose, a goal we strive for, a path we intend to follow. Even through this uncertain time, you can still continue your journey with the international communities you've come to engage with. And when we all emerge from this strife, I have no doubt that you will put your plans into action. Your journey abroad, however, and successful return to your home country makes you AFS returnees as much as everyone who has returned before you. You were chosen to be a part of the AFS family, and especially in times like these, we are so happy to have you. I want you to know that you have a community you can lean on here at AFS. In the coming weeks, we will be putting together opportunities for you to connect with other returnees and young ambassadors such as myself. So please, keep an eye out for those. With the social media available today, we are more connected now than ever before. I want to encourage you all to take advantage of this to maintain the connections you've made in your time abroad and to begin making new ones with your fellow returnees. And however you're feeling about all of this, remember to reach out to each other. In this time of social distancing, it is so easy to feel isolated, but we don't have to be.